What is up, Scum and Villainy? Today on the channel, I'm finally getting to the Jawas that I got from the Star Wars show here in Orlando. Uh, our friend OG Geek and uh, the, man, the Medina Lorian had a little booth there with Seth uh, from What's Poppin', Slap Happy Toys, Humpty, Garage Toys. Oh my God, it was like an overload of YouTubers and and awesome people from the community. So I did buy something from OG Geek because I got to show support for these guys. These guys are awesome. Virtual family and uh, very welcoming to, to everybody in the community. So today we are going to unbox the Sideshow Jawas. What? What the hell's going on? Those pesky Jawas, man, they get into everything. Don't leave your car parked outside because it's going to end up on bricks. But here is the Sideshow Jawas. From, you know, it's uh, it's an older uh, set that came out a few years ago. I actually, actually missed out on this one on the initial run. So I was happy to see this when I was at the Star Wars toy show. So so this, this has been done a couple of times. It's been done by Hot Toys and it's been done by Sideshow. But this is the first time I've ever actually got a chance to buy some because I'm always missing out on these. So let's get these suckers out of the box and take a closer look. All right, so check this out. It opens up and then here you can see the Jawas. I'm trying to get it, well, I got too much reflection in there. Got lights everywhere, so sorry guys. And then here's the Jawas. Pretty cool artwork, very simple. Uh, don't look at that. And then here's some more artwork on the back. Let's get this sucker out. So, check this out. All right. Probably a little bit better. Uh, trying to make sure there's not too much reflection there. Oh yeah, I'm so excited about this. This is like way overdue for me. And I have, I think when these came out, I just had so much going on that I honestly didn't think they were gonna sell out. And I was just like, ah. I'll get to it when I get to it. And then when I did, it was too late. But, oh man, these guys are awesome. Jesus, these guys are so simple, but so awesome. All right, so here's here's the first one. So if you've never seen them without their hoodie on, you can get some of that reflection there. Let me turn on this light real quick over here. I got another product light here that I use for stuff like this. So. All right, so here is the Jawa. You can see some of the reflection on the eyeballs there. Little ugly characters. You don't really see them uh, without their hoodie. Very simple. You know, Sideshow always uses these, these weird figures that are so loose. So, but overall, you know, the quality of this one is actually pretty good. Quick, uh, easy robe, you know, the fabric is good. The bandolier, it's made out of probably like some kind of pleather. Um, let's look at his shoes. His shoes. If we can get a, a better shot. Yeah, so the shoes, you can tell they got some damage. Got the, the little bandaging there. So that's that's one. And then the second one. Oh, the second Oh, crap. So the second one, I have to like put it together, kind of knocked it apart and the things are falling off. All right, so this is the second one here. I got to put it together, but there's his head. There's his head. Excuse all the background noise. I didn't realize I had other people in the house. And then uh, this guy has a, a double bandolier, so one on each side. And he has his rifle. These things are awesome. Does it come out? Uh, oh, well, it does now. But check out the details on this sucker. Oh my God. All right, I need to do this. Yeah, check out the details on this sucker. Oh my goodness. So badass. I know a lot of uh, prop makers in the community make, make this gun out of the, the Jack Sparrow gun that they used to sell at Disney. I like the barrel of this thing. This thing is freaking cool. Kind of looks like um, like an oil filter <laughs> from, a, from a car. All right, so let's put that sucker back in here if I can. And that guy goes back there. He has a little holster with a little string, maybe because they don't trust each other and nothing will get stolen. And then... Uh, 
Now looking at the details on this sucker right here, it looks like he has a leather vest. And of course, I think I said him, he has the bandoliers or yeah, the bandoliers. Little, it almost reminds me of the, the Mexican uh, cowboys where they, you just have those things across your chest, the bandidos. Uh, let's see, look, look, look at his feet. Similar to the to the last guy. You know, he has the, the bandage wrapped uh, shoes. Uh, and then it looks like these guys have, oh, it looks like I can actually like put lights on there. Oh, get the F out of here. I didn't even realize that there was a switch back there. I did a poor job paying attention on the last one. Well, wow, check that out. That's freaking amazing. Okay, definitely like that. The little details that count, right? Oh man, that's freaking cool. Freaking so cool. So one of them has this like little bracelet thing. It's made out of feathers. And then there's a bunch of hands and some kind of remote and a little pistol. So let's get those suckers out. All right, let's look at the accessories. So here we got a little blaster pistol. Dang it, I don't know why this thing keeps... Stop looking at me. All right, so here we have a little blaster pistol. As has uh, some weathering. Uh, I don't know if, it, if the lights are picking up the details, but you can see the weathering in the back here. Like it, you can see all the metal um, chipping away there. So that, yeah, pretty good details. Uh, nice little, nice little blaster. It is so tiny, guys. So sorry if you can't see it. And then here we have a little remote. I want to say this is what they use to activate and deactivate droids remotely. But man, I can't get it into focus. So sorry about that. So I'll have to show it to you right here. And then we got some hands. You know, we got a left hand here with a small grip. Another left hand here with just uh, an action. We have a right hand here with the grip. So you can see that. A left hand here with a, a grip. So just to hold the weapons, we have a right hand here, just a, just a little action hand right here. As you can see, the hands on there, looks like it is a glove. And then you have one with the finger pointing. And it's probably uh, saying, hey, look, there's a droid over there. Uh, ooh, uh. Well, that's it, guys. I would do the the movements on these things, the side to sides, but these sideshow side uh, figures that they use, they just are they're horrible. They're very loose. Um, what, I, what you guys didn't see is the challenges I had putting them on the little stands because they, they come with the little round disc stand, almost like the OG I Joe or Star Wars vintage uh, figures where it had the little... A little peg on the bottom and you just find out the slot in the, the shoe. Man, for for such an easy thing, it was such a hard process because it was hard to keep the, the knees stable enough for them to like stand on their own. So these these guys, um, they're very nice, very freaking cool, but uh, they're probably going to just end up being in a museum pose. I'm probably going to put them next to the Jazz Diorama X74 uh, Land Speeder. Probably like simulate them like cannon parts off the engine because, you know, these guys are a little thieves when it comes to uh, stuff like that. Well, that's it. Just wanted to drop something real quick for you guys. Uh, quick unboxing, sideshow Jawas. Freaking awesome figures. You know, I really do love them. The details on the costumes are amazing. Uh, I wish the body was just a little bit better, uh, but that's typical with sideshow. The, the bodies are just junk, you know. Hopefully one day they can just upgrade their bodies and start using like Fison bodies. Uh, so yeah, uh, like, subscribe, you know, follow, set some notifications, do whatever you need to do. That way you don't miss any of my videos. And kids, you don't drink the blue milk. I heard it's not good. Peace.